check out the ice on those cliffs over there. All that rain and melting and then it gets really cold and you get the ice cliffs on Goddard Lake. We're on the portage from Goddard to Brant and that's Brant Lake out there through the trees. Looks like maybe one group has been over this portage this year that I can tell maybe maybe a couple groups but it does it's not had a lot of traffic but you can see we're making good headway we're not sinking into the snow at all It's Sunday, March 12th, and we're out on Seagull, and it's a beautiful day. Ada's heading down the lake. We're getting a real late start. It's like 3. We're just going to fish for a couple hours. She's pulling the shelter down the lake and all our stuff, and it's uh, amazing travel. You see we're driving out on Seagull right now, parking out here. Uh, no snow on the lakes, but a couple feet of ice, so it's awesome. The lakes are opening up in southern Minnesota, and how much ice do we have left? We have that much, which is quite a bit of really good ice. We had a busy weekend at the resort with cabin guests, people up to fish, and they caught a lot of fish. Everyone did real well. Um, we'll throw a photo in here of a 40-inch lake trout that was caught by one of our cabin guests this weekend. And uh, it's probably one of the biggest lake trout I've ever seen come out of the waters up here in off the Gunflint Trail. Um, they put their time in, though. They go all over the place, and they put a lot of miles on to catch the fish up here. They come up every year, so it was a well-deserved fish. But it is quite, quite the lake trout. Late winter. <laughs> 